the wife of a retired East Sussex priest who's accused of sexually abusing two young boys has told a jury that he was almost a father figure to them. Christopher Howarth from Uckfield is accused of a string of sexual offences between 2004 and 2012. Well, the prosecution alleges that the 67-year-old groomed the boys from childhood and gave them money in return. Juliet Parkin reports from Hove Crown Court. Christopher Howarth surrounded by his close friends and family. It was they who stood up in court in his defence today. He's accused of abusing two schoolboys, of corrupting them from an early age, the prosecution alleges. Today, his wife, seen here in the pink top, told the court he gave them nothing but support. They said they weren't happy at home, Vivian Howarth told the jury. They saw Chris almost as a father figure. He tried to give them guidance. We would take them out for birthdays, take them anywhere they needed to go. She also described the boys as difficult and lazy, how their mother moaned about their behaviour and how they were brought to their house but sometimes came on their own free will. Also giving evidence was a former pupil at Christopher Howarth School in Uckfield. Christopher Wright asked him to conduct his father's funeral when he was 16. He told the court his teacher was very good at bereavement counselling and had an open door policy. The court heard how the retired priest did nearly all the weddings and funerals in Uckfield because people always asked for him. He'd been nothing but kind and caring, Christopher Wright told the jury. We would speak about school, how I would adjust to life. He was universally loved. Christopher Howarth's wife was asked in court if she knew he'd pleaded guilty to inciting one of the boys to engage in sexual activity. Yes, she replied. He denies 19 other counts. Uh, well, Juliet is at uh, Hove Crown Court for us now. And Juliet, the prosecution have made uh, their final statement to the jury. Yes, that's right. Addressing the jury, the barrister for the prosecution appealed to them to look beyond Christopher Howarth's position in the Uckfield community. The truth is plain, she said. He corrupted two boys from an early age, boys who were insecure in their home setting and in themselves, boys who seized on his emotional and financial help and regarded the abuse as a necessary part of their relationship with him and the price they had to pay on occasion for his support. The defence will read out their closing statements tomorrow. Thanks, Juliet.